Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, I'm going to analyze my league game that I just finished. I just came home from, from the match. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how I feel. Uh, you're going to see at the end of the, the end of the video. Okay, so I was preparing for this opponent for a long while. Uh, I had three weeks to prepare since, since round five was played uh, before I played the tournament in Bratislava. So I already basically knew who I was going to play. I had two possible opponents. And uh, this guy I was playing is 200 uh, something points higher rated than I am, uh, almost 300 points. So I knew it wasn't going to be an easy game. And uh, I knew that he plays d6 on move 1 against e4. And sometimes he plays the Pirates, sometimes he plays the Modern. But most often he will play e4, d6, d4, uh, g6 without knight f6. So I was preparing sims systems against that. Uh, I had the Kolmov system prepared with bishop c4, uh, which I thought I was going to play if, if he plays the Pirates, but I ended up playing something else. And yesterday I had a training session with my coach and we went over some variations uh, with pawn to f3, so I ended up playing that. So let's go. Uh, e4, d6, I played d4, he played knight to f6. And now, as you could see in the two previous games I played against the Pirates, I went for the Kolmov system and I ended up winning two games. <coughs> but here, I wanted to play something di different and we were looking at very nice setups for white uh, with f3, g4, knight e2, knight g3, and then uh, when the knight goes to h5, if I manage to chase it away, white has uh, a fine setup. And I, I, I wanted to go for that, it seemed very interesting. He is high rated, so I wanted to confuse him a bit if I could. So I ended up playing the move f3, which uh, is no longer the Pirts, it actually has a cool name, it's the lion defense. This variation is called the lion's jaw. And the game followed uh, g6, bishop to e3, I want to play queen to d2. He played c6 here, which is common. Queen to d2, and now one of the ideas of this setup is that I don't play knight to c3. So the move b5, which he is preparing with c6, doesn't make much sense. So b5 here would be met with a4, and white would be better. He played knight b to d7. And I played the confusing knight to e2. Uh, the point behind knight to e2 is that I want to play g4 and then knight to g3. And once I play g4, knight g3, I'm threatening g5 and when his knight goes to h5, I take it and I have a better position. If the situation arises in which he takes my knight, then I'm going to recapture with the h pawn and have the open h file, which is better for white if black has already castled. So in the game, he played the move queen to c7. Uh, I played g4, uh, so my next move is going to be knight to g3 if he allows it, but he didn't allow it, he played the move e5. Okay, so now uh, I took a long time for this position. Uh, I'm obviously afraid of uh, him taking uh, my pawn uh, in some positions. If I take, then his knight takes and I have a problem on f3 because of the move g4, and he also has knight b6, knight c4, which I have to look out for. So, uh, in this position I wanted to play g5, chase the knight away first, so I ended up playing g5. The knight went to h5, and now I have a big decision to make. I actually looked at the position for a second uh, with the engine on my phone uh, after the game while we were driving, and the engine wants me to play the move knight c3 here, and the only thing I know is that the position is more than plus 2 for white, according to the bad engine on my phone, if I play knight to c3. But I didn't want to play knight to c3 because I was afraid of the move d5. So in all variations, uh, I was looking at the move d5, so let's say I play the move knight to g3 here. I was looking at d5 and uh, him opening up my center which I wasn't too thrilled about. Uh, of course, if he ever takes, then I'm happy because I have the move f4 and whatever happens, I have the open h file. So in the game after knight h5, I wanted to stop the move d5 uh, at all costs, so I played the move c4. Uh, after knight uh, to c3, knight b to c3, uh, if he plays d5, that's not really a problem because I can take it, and that's the move I didn't consider, and I was afraid uh, of the move b5, as I said, because uh, usually the, in these setups I didn't want to play knight to c3 because of b5, but apparently here uh, after b5 I should be fine and uh, b5 isn't really a problem. But anyway, after c4 he played bishop to g7, and now uh, 
I wanted to close the position down and use my initiative on the king side, so I played d5. After c takes d5, c takes d5, yeah, by the way, in the previous position, before c4, if I play d5 and he takes, if I take with my queen, then after knight to b6, my c2 pawn is hanging, knight c4 is hanging, and everything seems to be bad for me. So this position wouldn't be good, so, so bishop g7, d5 now, c d5, c d5. And here he played knight to b6, which I expected, and I thought this position was good for me. Of course, I don't want to take the knight, I need my dark squared bishop, uh, but instead I played the move knight to a3, and now I'm stopping knight to c4 uh, in all variations, and uh, yeah, I was happy here. He castled, I played rook to c1, a tempo move, he went queen to d8. Uh, after queen to d8, uh, I think I played a very bad move. I couldn't really find what I should do, uh, I was uh, pretty upset with this position already because uh, the move f5 is coming and after f5 I'm going to be in trouble, my king is stuck on e8, he can take here uh, and after I take here the, ro the road for his rook is uh, wide open, he can also play the move f6 and not to mention that my uh, g5 pawn is hanging. So now his next move is going to be knight f5 or f5 or f6. If he plays knight f5, as it happened in the game, I cannot take the knight because I open up the bishop. So, uh, I'm sorry, knight f4. Uh, so I played the move queen to c2. I was looking at uh, queen to b4, uh, putting pressure on the pawn. I was looking at knight to b5, putting pressure on the pawn. But I couldn't really make them work, either of them. Uh, yeah, so I played the move queen to c2, trying to infiltrate on, on c7, and he played the move knight to f4, and now I spent a long time. Here I thought I, I lost my advantage and I have to be worse. Uh, so the first thing, uh, if I play the move queen to c7 here, he always has the option to play uh, knight d3 check. Uh, so yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Uh, if I take the knight, either way, his bishop opens up and I'm busted, so let's say I take with the knight takes takes uh, where does my bishop move i have no idea i guess i guess here and now he has the move f5 and after f5 my position is i think losing and i have no way to defend my center he's going to break the position open and after knight f4 uh, if i take with the bishop he takes here i cannot play queen uh, c7 because bishop b2 and i'm in trouble and i cannot take the pawn uh, because of f5 once again uh, and after f5, I, I should just be worse. He can also uh, take here. Yeah, but I thought this wasn't as good. So basically, I, I'm in trouble if I take the pawn, and the only thing I can do is play against his bishop. So I thought I should play against the bishop and probably be fine. So I played the move h4, simply defending my pawn, waiting to see what he does. Uh, he played f5. And uh, now, once again, if I take, I'm in trouble. Uh, if I take Ampassan, I don't think my position is good. So I ended up playing the move knight to g3, trying to close things down. If he takes on e4, then I'm going to take with my f-pawn. And then there are some situations in which he plays rook to f3. But still, he has to move the knight to, to do that, and he doesn't have any squares for the knight at the moment. So I thought knight to g3 was fine, and I even have some attacking ideas of h5. Uh, he played bishop to d7, which was a good move, and uh, now I think I played a good move, I played queen to c7. Uh, in this position, uh, I was expecting him to move the queen, and I wasn't sure if I can take any of the pawns, let's say he plays queen to e7. If I take here, then I'm not sure I can survive, let's say this happens, this happens, I'm in too much trouble, I think. So I'm not sure if I would have taken the pawn. Uh, but anyway, he played rook to c8, which I was happy to see because I saw the move rook h2 and I can get my other rook into play. So I took here, he took uh, bishop takes here and I played the move rook to h2. And now I thought I have to be equal or even slightly better because I'm playing against the bad bishop on g7. And I was very happy here. Uh, the only problem was that I spent too much time uh, to get this far and... Uh, at one point before and after f5, I thought I was losing, so I was spending way, way too much time. And here I only had about 16 or 17 minutes left, and he had over 40. So, yeah, any ending I was going to get in time trouble. He played rook c8, I played rook c2. Uh, I thought he should exchange, but I want my knight on c2 anyway. He took f4, I took uh, on c8 with check, knight takes c8, f takes c4. He played king to f8, and I played knight to c2. And uh, 
in this position, uh, now I have to give you the context of the match. So the Croatian league is played on six boards. Uh, we were playing the strongest team in the league. Uh, and uh, basically it, it was unprobable, unprobable for us to draw or win. And uh, on board six, our teammate uh, sacrificed two pieces and won, which was horrendous. He, he should have lost. And on board one, uh, our teammate uh, won a drawn position because her opponent's phone rang and he lost by forfeit. So we were 2-0 two, uh, two and I thought if I draw, then we are 2.5-half and, a half, half, and uh, on the other three boards all the positions were equal. And I, yeah, I wanted my team to win. I couldn't see a clear win in this position. I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to show you my analysis, which I saw before I offered a draw, and I couldn't see a win. And basically, in this position, after knight to c2, with my move, I offered a draw, and my opponent accepted. Uh, it's obvious that he cannot play for the win because his bishop is blocked, and I have more space. But it's unclear whether I can play for a win. So we had a better position in the match. Uh, he is higher rated. I was much lower on time, so I figured the draw was fine. In the end, what happened on the other three boards was two defeats and one draw, so we ended up drawing the match 3-3, which is horrible. We should have won, but what can you do? So in this position, we agreed to a draw. Uh, so it's a, it's a good result for me, and I'm not sure objectively uh, if I should have lost earlier. Perhaps I should, and I'm not sure if I can win here, but my analysis was this. Uh, h6 uh, should be the best move for him. I shouldn't take opening up the bishop, of course, but I was going to move my ki king up the board, king f2. h takes, h takes. Uh, I was looking at the move bishop g4. And the problem in the final position was uh, that, okay, let's see, before knight to c2, after king f8, I wanted to play this move uh, and exchange his light squared bishop, but I'm always hanging this check. And I need to be careful because if I lose my h4 pawn, uh, then my game is busted and he can play h6, uh, free up his bishop. So my bishop is uh, tied down to the pawn and I don't have too many options. It's also pretty hard to move my knight. I can never take his knight and uh, the position is blocked, so I decided to play knight to c2. And as I said, h6, king f2, h takes, h takes, bishop g4. I was looking at the move b3 to restrain his knight. Uh, king f7 should be a good move, bishop to e3, bishop d1 uh, attacking my knight, knight to a3, uh, trying to get my knight into c4, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, knight to a3, I was looking at a6, stopping my knight from infiltrating, knight e2, uh, now he has to take, uh, takes, 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 and uh, I saw a position which looked something like this, where I obviously have a much better bishop, <coughs> and a much better knight, but I couldn't see a way to win. Uh, this is uh, what I was looking at. Okay, this is the final position. Okay, so let's say we get here. And uh, I didn't see this over the board. I saw something like this, but I, I put it on the board when I came home and I got to this position. So how do I win this? Uh, it's, it's really hard to win and there might be some ideas with uh, with bishop here and trying to take with the knight on e5, but it's really hard uh, and unlikely that he's going to blunder. Uh, my king doesn't have any infiltration squares, that much is obvious, so I think this is objectively a draw. Uh, now let's see with an engine. Uh, as always, I'm going to run an engine analysis here at the end of the video. So e4, uh, d6, d4, knight f6, f3, g6, bishop e3, c6, queen d2, Knight bd7, knight e2, which is a weird move, but as I said, I was going for the setup with g4, knight g3. Queen c7, g4 is the best move, e5 here. And yeah, this, this advantage is huge after g5, knight h5, and apparently c4 is the key mistake. Here I have more than plus one and a half with knight c3, which I did consider, but uh, I was looking at the move b5. Uh, oh, but after b5, I have d5. Okay, b5, d5, what if he plays b4? Yeah, I can just take there. Yeah, uh, I didn't consider this because I wanted to to stop b5. So anyway, I ended up playing c4, uh, which equalizes bishop g7. And now knight c3 once again, d5 is a mistake apparently. d5, yeah, d5 equal. So I didn't really understand this position, but I played it for the first time and... Uh, 
I wanted to close down the center to, to seize the initiative on the king side, but apparently I didn't do the right thing. Takes, takes. Knight b6, knight a3, castles, rook c1, queen d8, and now knight b5, yeah. Queen c2 better for black. Knight f4, h4, much better for black. f5, Ampasan works, apparently, but I played knight to g3. Oof. Oof, after knight to g3, I'm losing. <clears throat> okay, let's see why. Takes here. Pawn takes here. Rook to f7, okay. Queen d1 is the move I, I don't really want to play queen d1. Yeah, but I have no moves. I have no moves. So now the engines think, thinks black is better, but yeah. So after knight g3, he should have taken. He played bishop d7, which allowed queen c7. And the best move was queen to e7, after which I guess I can take the pawn. Okay, look here. Leeches has a new interface, so the engine doesn't probably work properly, because it changes its more of what... It's going crazy. So it says he should sacrifice here, takes... What I don't understand this position. I'm going to have to analyze it over the board. So apparently he should sacrifice the knight and be better, because he can take here. Takes... I guess bishop takes... This is completely crazy. I d this is insane. I I don't really. I don't really want to, want to analyze this any further. The engine says I'm losing, but I have two pieces for the rook, so I should be fine. But anyway, after queen c7, he played rook to c8, and now, yeah, white is slightly better. Uh, queen takes d8, takes, 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 takes. I just want to look at the final position and see whether the draw was justified. Yeah, the engine says plus 0.6. Uh, and let's see, h6, king f2, h takes, h takes. Bishop g4, b3. All the moves seem correct. Bishop e3 as well. Bishop d1 as well, knight a3. The engine wants to play bishop f8 here. It says it's plus one for white, but I want to see it win. Okay, here he has to exchange. Takes, takes. Takes, takes. And how does the engine win this position? Puts pressure on my pawn, knight c4. Bishop drops back. a4. King here. Yeah, I... It just repeats moves. So apparently it's blocked. Yeah, the engine draws the game as well. So a draw was okay. Perhaps since I was playing a human I could have pushed for a win, but I was lower on time and my team was winning at the moment, so I thought a draw was fine. So anyway, a draw against a high-rated opponent is okay. Uh, won some rating points. Uh, it was a nice game. Now I know a new system to play against the Pirts, and I'm actually happy to, to have learned it. This system with F3, G4, Knight, G3. It's really fun. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the game and uh, stay tuned for more chess. By the way, thank you for the comments and for the support once again. Bye bye.